Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is Saturday, March 4th, so you know what time it is. It's Wax Gaming Weekly Recap Time, where we try and get through all the news from this past week and any upcoming events in 10 minutes or less, maybe about 12 minutes or less, but we'll try, we'll try. All right, let's kick off with the biggest news on the Wax blockchain, and this is something that I think a lot of people have been looking for for, for some time now. Um, the Wax blockchain is running an event they're going to sponsor an event basically creators first it's an event where you can vote for the top projects on the on the blockchain and what they're going to do is they're going to go out with ten thousand dollars worth of wax and buy a whole bunch of the nfts off the secondary market really trying to support both the projects and also the community uh so it's a really neat project to see that they're they're jumping in here uh many people have had some concerns around them fo more focused on their own projects other than rather than the projects on the blockchain. This is nice to see that they're, they're doing a shift uh, where they're gonna be supporting more and more pro uh, projects on the blockchain. So go ahead, uh, I, I forget when the, the end date of this is, but go ahead out there, they, it's on their Twitter. Uh, a number of projects have it in their announcements to try and promote it. Vote for your favorite project, not gonna try and influence anyone, uh, but go ahead and check that out and just let them know who your favorite is and maybe they'll be one of the winners that gets a whole bunch of stuff uh taken or purchased off the secondary market I, I think they're planning on giving it back to the community also but i'm not 100 sure on that i didn't get through all the details full transparency all right next on the list we have nova pangea did a huge update this week one that a lot of people have been looking for quite a bit they dropped and released the Novo token. It's available on Alcor Market. It's available within the game. Uh, soon going to be available on Taco Swap. They just opened the liquidity pool on Thursday. In addition to this, they did some major updates to uh, the game itself. Now you're able to stake in the, the town hall, which allows you to get additional bonuses within your district. And also you can level uh, your your residential buildings and your skilled workers up to level four. Uh, I did a full video on this earlier in the week. I'm uh, gonna have a follow-up video coming up early ne next week, uh, but a great update for those of you that are Novo Pangea. You now have a token that you can take out a game if you want to and, and trade on the secondary market, or you can use it in the future towards purchasing in-game NFTs. It's nice to see that they have that addition. I think it's going pretty well. Some people are super excited about it. Um, next on the list, we have Wombat Dungeon Master slash Dungeon Worlds. I did a, a video on this actually yesterday, two days ago, I guess it was, uh, where they explain their drop that they have coming up here. Uh, it's going to be extreme, extremely important for Dungeon Worlds. At the time of that video that I recorded, they didn't have the details of the pack themselves other than a high level mention of the price. Uh, they have four packs that are going to be available um the wide 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 price range just throwing that out there make sure you're all aware of that uh initially in the ama they mentioned that the packs would run about four dollars two to four dollars uh i should say three to four dollars um for the lowest pack which is correct the the lowest pack here depending on which white list you're in can range from uh they have the the 349 to all the way down to uh there it is uh, four dollars which is essentially kind of what they said in the ama but they didn't mention these higher ones they, they mentioned that there's going to be higher pack ra rarities uh didn't say the price but it ranges all the way up to 190 dollars uh, which is a little extreme but you get three characters in there and i do have to say the chance of rarity that you're going to get out there is one of the best i've seen in a pack drop so i got to give them credit on that you basically have one third of a chance of getting a mythic out of these packs you get three characters all three have one third or, or 33 percent chance at getting a mythics that, that that's extremely great odds uh, but obviously you're paying for that as you're, as you're going for it so if you're interested in this again march 6th they're doing this drop all the details are now on nefty next on the list is avalon the game a couple big announcements here first of all i mentioned this that the the titan helmet is going to be coming here shortly they dropped the 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 image that they're going to use for the nft as you can see here uh this is the rarest item in alpha you can get it to drop and you're going to get an nft out of it and this is going to be a good nft to have so if you're playing at all uh, whether you're the gold pass or the upcoming silver and emeralds this is something that you definitely want to shoot for if you can um, i can't wait to get mine i was able to go ahead in there with the team and get one uh, so as soon as the nft is actually released i'll show you the full nft in addition to that the gold passes are coming to an end shortly the tentative date is right now on march 6th they've 
potentially talked about extending it uh, because of the dragon issue. Uh, they're, they're trying to get the dragons in game so we can test it as part of alpha. But also, if you have a gold, or, I mean, a silver or emerald pass, those are coming up shortly. You're soon going to be able to get in game and also test it out. It's going to be fun. Right now, there's about 50 to 70 people that have been testing out the game. Uh, with the, the silver and the emerald, you're adding probably another 100, 150 people. Uh, it's going to be fun to see a lot of people in game. And last but not least for Avalon, uh, I, just a little bit of a self-promotion here. Um, I am teaming up with them with a partnership. We're putting a few videos together for their channel. Uh, so go ahead and check out their channel. They're not released yet, uh, but once you do, you'll see if I, I believe right now it'll be two or three uh, from me that I'm going to be going ahead and recording for them. So check it out. Give them some love. Give the give the video some love also. Uh, I hope you all are interested in this. This is pretty neat. All right, next on the list we have Realm NFT. Uh, we have upcoming event now is uh, the research event. And I apologize. Last week on the weekly recap, I misspoke and I apologize for that. Um, I said it was last weekend. I, I was wrong. <laughs> I should have checked before. Uh, but it is this weekend is actually already kicked off by the time you're watching this. All weekend, basically huge discount, a 30% discount on uh, the price of research. And then also the speed is doubled. Basically, it takes you half the time to go ahead and research it. So if you have a lot of research stacked up like I do, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and take advantage of this event that's going on. Now we have Taco Universe. Taco mentioned or, or announced that they're going to make some adjustments to the OmniCoin distribution. Uh, so I highly encourage you to go out and take a look at this this. Uh, medium article that they have out there. It's in their Discord. Um, they have a timeline around it. Basically, they're going to be making some adjustments to to increase, uh, make it basically lower the threshold, uh, make the the mythics and the legendary collectors a little bit more valuable because they 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 can have increased capacity. All the details are there. All the timings there. Highly encourage you to check it out. If you're especially if you're into the automators that just came out or a cryptia because the Omni coin is very critical for those items. So go ahead and look at that. Then we have Farming Tales. Farming Tales dropped their most recent roadmap. This is a detailed, and I mean this is the most detailed roadmap that I've seen in a while for the next few months. They have it out there on their Discord. It's an under the roadmap channel. Um, check it out, especially if you're interested in this. It shows everything from AMAs that are coming up. Uh, they have all the auctions, uh, the shared auctions, any events that are coming out. Very, very detailed. I, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen a project put this much of a detailed two-month plan. Love that they're getting to that, and I love that they're communicating. Similar team, uh, some some slight differences. Um, the Nook team uh, did make an announcement this past week for Mining Architect. Um, there's been some some a little bit of frustration because they dropped those HD NFTs probably about two weeks ago now, uh, and we were expecting to be able to stake those in game uh, shortly after. Uh, unfortunately, uh, one or two of the developers had some personal issues that they had to take care of. Uh, so they announced that. They let us know they are working on it. Hopefully, it'll be in there soon. And they're also working on some additional uh, features uh, in parallel with that. So the HD is coming. Uh, they're they're trying to communicate to us and let us know if you're at all interested in that project. Go ahead and check out this their Discord for all the details in the announcement. Next, we have Immersus. They are dropping a, a basically a newsletter, an insider newsletter. Um, basically, it's focused on Immersus, but it does have some details around Wax overall. I have started noticing this, um, and I, I think it's good that that some project or s projects are starting to drop a, a newsletter or an insider magazine, basically giving you a lot of details. It's like a it's like a monthly or a weekly uh, white paper, but specifically for what's been going on. Uh, it's neat to see that they're putting the time in there. It, it's I think it's a step up. It's a, a nice little benefit. Um, and because they're putting in the time to, to communicate as much as possible. So I, I, Dan and the team, I'm happy that you guys are putting this out there. Um, I, and, and I know there's a few other projects that are starting to do it also. So it's, it's neat to see that. Million on Mars dropped another pack uh, in the shop. Um, wanted to announce this just in case you're in the project. I don't know the details about the pack. I know they drop a lot of packs. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Was this pack worth it? Or do you like continuing to see them doing a lot of these, a lot of these drops and the bundles arriving. Um, again, I'm not familiar with it, so it may have a huge benefit to the game itself. Let us know in the comments down below. All right, now we got castles. Just a quick note: they are proposing a huge expansion to castles. 
Um, very similar to what Eve has, uh, if you're familiar with that. Uh, if you're not, it's it's a it's a very PvP focused uh, type of expansion. They out in their announcements, uh, they do have a whole medium article that really describes it. Uh, I'm curious to see how they're going to do it. Depending on how it's implemented, this could be very fun, or it could not be. So we'll just we'll leave it at that. But I, I like the concept. I really like the concept behind it. I just hope if they decide to move forward with it, that they they have it full of skill based uh, and strategy based activities instead of just a clicker. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, again, it's just a proposal. It's not something that they're definitely moving forward with. They're trying to get feedback from the community. Waxa World uh, provided a few announcements, another lore item. They also let us know that they are, are really starting to push towards the housing. They have the, the prototype area. If you go into the game now, you can see the, the, the key on the screen here. You can check out the, the alpha for the housing. It basically lets you run around with your ninjas uh, and a few other features that they're continuing to add. Also, Ryu from the team did post uh, an update with all their, their build activities that they've been doing. They're trying to finish out the lore and they're focused now on building out the, the housing environment now that they have a, the design and the lore uh, pretty much complete. So cool things to come for Waxa World. All right, Music Mogul. Whew, we've been waiting for, what, six months for this? Maybe more, maybe seven, eight months? Um, I, I'm excited that they have released the beta. If you go to their Discord, uh, check out their announcements, you can go ahead and test out the beta. Um, if you're at all interested in this or you've got some of those NFTs from months, months ago, um, I'm going to be doing a video here shortly, probably early next week. Uh, my first run through, I actually haven't looked at it yet, but I, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, basically a first person view, first time in uh, beta gameplay. Um, so that'll be coming here next week in case you don't have a chance to test it out yourself. At least you'll be able to watch that 10, 15 minute video to get an idea of what the game is like. All right. Worsaken did an AMA and they, I, I mentioned this in a previous recap, uh, lots of information in this AMA. If you're playing Worsaken, check out all the notes. If you weren't able to attend the AMA, uh, looks like some big changes going on. I personally have not gotten into the game yet. I want to, um, I just haven't had the opportunity to, I I've watched a few streams over the last week or two. Uh, looks like a fun, fun, uh, project. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you Worsaken? How are you liking it? Uh, what do you recommend as far as a starter pack goes? Um, how, how can I get into the game? So go ahead and recommend that uh, or feel free to reach out to me directly, your choice. Um, but it definitely is a game that I want to look to get into and test out. All right, next on the list, we have Our Planet. Our Planet season is still going on. It kicked off on January 27th. We are at the point right now where there's about 400 uh, players left. It started out with over 1,200. Um, the the time frame it's it's uh, it definitely looks like it could last at least another month before we get done. Um, it, it was going there for qu really fast, knocking out the first 800 people. Uh, but now it's slowed down a bit. Now it's like one or two people get knocked out a day. So I'm really curious to see how it goes because soon that soon the alliances between clans. Uh, it's going to break down. It's going to be a fun thing to watch. It's big clans going after each other. Uh, some of the battles that are going to happen are pretty neat, but we're, we're continuing to move forward on our planet. And last but not least, this is one that I found super interesting. I mentioned it, uh, I think, late last year. Uh, if you remember, I did some, some uh, videos on Unlinked maybe about a year ago. They finally made an announcement that they believe they are ready to go with our PvP game. Uh, they provided, if you see on the screen now, in their announcements, they have a timeline. Uh, they're going to get the test net going here shortly uh, and then really push out alpha beta and, and, and hopefully launch the game around May 11th. If you've bought cards for Unlinked, they're going to have a conversion process so you can convert your old cards into the new versions for the new version of the game. Very interested to see the details around this and, and what comes from it. Uh, they did provide a few screenshots. It is a PvP card game, uh, so I don't believe the 3D version is going to be available in this in this uh, iteration, I guess you call it. But they, they have a fixed PvP, um, so I'm interested to see this. Once it launches, um, I'll go ahead and do, uh, hopefully I can get in the alpha or beta, uh, so I can go ahead and do a, a video for you. But I thought it was very interesting. It's basically a project that came back from the dead. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I know they've been working this whole time, so I'm not saying that they, they completely ran away, uh, but they, they went, they went silent for months. Um, so it's nice to see that they continued to move and they're ready to launch. Uh, so need to see, and they're also keeping the cards that you bought earlier. Uh, so if you're at all interested in the style of game, 
I'd check out the stuff on the secondary market right now. It's, it's kind of cheap, but that's pure speculation. Make sure you, I'm not a financial advisor, no financial advice on this one. Make sure you are committed to this before we make anything because it is super risky until they actually start putting something out, especially since they went silent for some time. But I have some cards, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. All right. I hope you all enjoy this. I know we went a little longer than 10 minutes. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Let me know in the, down in the comments below. Did I miss anything? Anything that I should have announced? Anything I should focus on for next week's weekly recap? I hope you all have a great day, great weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.